how to create a landing page for affiliate marketing. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a landing page for a product that you are having an affiliate marketing with. And the cool thing about this method is that it's completely free. You can create even email campaigns to um, you, the, your uh, target market and you can gather email informations from them using the website that I'm about to show you. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to first explain to you what is actually going on in the affiliate marketing uh, landing page. Okay, so basically the workflow is as follows. You have a landing page you can either advertise that page using Google ads or other advertisement, maybe TikTok ads, and people will start coming into your landing page. And from that landing page, which I'm about to show you again now, um, they can enter their email address and their first and last name. And if they are interested in the product, they can click send to my inbox and this will do two things because we will set it up that way they will be sent an inbox about uh, a, an automated email that we will make and they will be redirected to our affiliate marketing product and if they buy from those affiliate marketing link that we have of course we gain revenue okay so that's that's the general idea of this particular uh, way of affiliate marketing. Okay, so the first step, of course, is to find products. Now to find products, you will, uh, you can you can find the popular products or, you know, CJ dropshipping, but it'll be like dropshipping again. Uh, the most reliable and safe affiliate marketing, I, in my opinion, is I think the Amazon Associates uh, program which is an affiliate marketing made by Amazon okay so let's find products here okay so let's try to affiliate market uh, one of these hot selling products by Amazon here so let's say for example we're going to try to sell the thermos here okay so let's click the link to that product let's wait for it to load and all right now Let's see if we can get the affiliate link to our uh, affiliate program by now. If you're if you're joining the Associate Center, you will see the Amazon Associate Site Stripe uh, widget on top of your Amazon uh, product, uh, your Amazon website. Now to get the affiliate link to this specific product, you just have to click uh, Get Link. And there you go. You can have a full shortened link containing your uh, affiliate tag so that when someone uh, buys this product from your link, they will be, uh, you will be rewarded with an affiliate fee. Okay, so the next step that, you, that we want to do is to edit our landing page. So yeah, b now that we have um, found our winning product, we can start uh, cr uh, editing our website over here. So I think this is a good template. You can, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can find another template uh, in the uh, editor here, but I wanna explain to you a bit about the software that I'm using right now. So it's the system Dot io now why i choose this software is because it is a complete affiliate marketing um, service free of charge and you can do everything in it from making a landing page to hosting your landing page to creating email campaigns for you to leverage on the um, email confirmations that you create on your landing page over here okay so now to start let's just 
click this button over here and let's set it to link to our Amazon product. So the action when button clicked is the next step URL. No, I want it to go to open URL and let's paste the URL of our Amazon affiliate product. And that is all. So when we click this button, it will redirect us to our Amazon affiliate product. Okay, so now once we have th that set up, let's go ahead and edit our website. So to start, let's maybe change the logo to a Thermos logo maybe, or your product's logo. And as you can see, everything is, uh, is all of the elements here are, um, are contained in a rectangle in which you can move around and uh, make sure that everything is tidy. This is a lot like your typical website, web-based um, website builder. Okay, so let's start by changing the logo over here. Now our logo, okay, let's, so let's try to, yeah, let's try to change the logo now. Let's upload a file, drag and drop. I'm going to choose my design file over here, which is my logo file. Let's pretend. And let's wait for it to load. All right, so there's my logo. I'm going to insert it now. And sure enough, it will be my new logo. Okay, so it's it's quite large. Now to resize it, you just need to click it and you change the image size. So this is at its maximum, as you can see. I want to minimize it a bit. So let's just pretend that it's your logo over here. Now on the right hand side, you have a few menus. Now what you can do is you can again change the size. I think I want it I want I want to change the font size over here. And oh now it doesn't have enough space. So no problem. Let's change the rectangle size now. So let's find the margin. Let's tighten the margin between those elements. And let's try to change the uh, line height to just uh, very tight over here. Okay, now I want a tighter padding. So I want uh, more padding on top and maybe on the right. Okay, so this is useful because I want to line it up with the iPhone over here. Okay, so that is all for the text, I think. Now, uh, to the text, the main uh, header text over here. Okay, so obviously we are linking to a Thermos product. So naturally we want to change the uh, title to Thermos. So maybe like the your hydration companion okay maybe 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 this is the appropriate header for our product you can be creative here i am sure you will come up with a great description and website design so let's continue and uh okay so let's let's type in join Type in a good description for our product. So let's click, let's type join the hydrated community of Thermos and become a hero for yourself. Okay, so maybe that's a good way to um, to increase people's appetite on your water bottle product. And of course you can add uh, reviews over here. You can edit the reviews and you can add the text over here. There you go. Okay, so you might wanna like set a few, uh, you might wanna edit a few things over here.
but I'm not going to cover that I'm pretty sure you can handle that yourself and now you can also change the section over here our partners now you can either change uh, what the section displays or you can delete the section entirely in this case I'm going I'm just going to delete the section entirely click OK okay as you can see uh, using the trash button on the top right menu of the section you can do that now these are more reviews and I do not want to have an extra um, form over here on the bottom so I'm just going to remove them as well okay so let's remove them all right now I will definitely edit the uh, menus on the bottom over here okay so let's change up the color here to uh, better suit our product so our product is very metallic so I'm thinking of maybe like graying out everything okay so let's block the text like this and click on the color button here and I kinda wanna make it more metallic like more light gray over here okay so let's copy our hex color code over here to make everything uh, uniform and let's implement the changes for the rest of the texts there you go Oops. all right now this as well I want to change the color of this button go to the bottom and you see the background color and just change it to our color code now this already looks a lot like our thermos uh, like this is more appropriate for our thermos uh, product so you can change you can also change the image over here maybe you want to change to a thermos image so just upload your uh, thermos product over here okay so that's pretty much how you edit your website you can of course play around with it uh, do everything you want with it but just make sure that you have good practice of uh, website building and by the way speaking of landing page I think it is better for you if you have uh, a thank you page as well for this matter so when the user have um, submitted their email and go and gone to the Amazon uh, thermos products over here they will be they will also be displayed your thank you page now this is this will add a nice personal touch for your uh, website affiliate link and make it feel close to them so i highly recommend you to set up a thank you page for your uh, landing page in the affiliate link uh, in the affiliate marketing business okay so now that we have set up our landing page and we have connected it to our product uh, affiliate product i want to show you how you can create email campaigns from the emails that the land uh, the landing page visitors of your affiliate marketing uh, website uh, into your email campaign so for example let's create a campaign here so to do that I'll go over to emails and campaigns so let's create a campaign now I already have a campaign over here I'm just gonna delete it and uh, do, redo everything okay so let's click click create and let's change the name of the campaign to um, maybe retention for you to uh, increase the your potential customer retention to keep your product in their top of mind let's say for example they're not ready to uh, buy your product at the time that they are in your landing page you might be able to change their uh, change their mind when they see your email so let's create your email let's say the subject is you're you're just a step away from 
staying hydrated on the go maybe that's a good subject a good uh, pickup subject to um, redirect your customer back to your landing page and the sender name is maybe uh, I'm just gonna put my name over here okay so now you can add a body paragraph and a preview but uh, a good email will be short and uh, concise and I do uh, recommend you to add a an Amazon link uh, of your product like your affiliate link now either an affiliate link or you can also um, redirect them back to your landing page but I think that's redundant so let's just uh, add a link to our paragraph and you can uh, compose your emails now once you've composed your emails let's say for example and you've added the link to your product and well and then click save and publish it's in for a hunt and so let's delay delay it one day after they put in their email address in your landing page let's click activate all right now once you're done making an email campaign what this does is that after like one day after they added your uh they put in your uh, the email ad their email address to your uh, land landing page website they will be greeted with this email on their uh, email service and hopefully they can change their mind on your product so let's see uh, how we can automate this email sending in our funnels which is our website okay so the email lies in the landing page right now what you want to do is add an automation rules in this landing page and let's go ahead just go ahead and click add rule and let's add funnel step form subscribed now once the email uh, once a customer have submitted their email they will be added to a campaign which is our again again our retention campaign so click add action here and click subscribe to campaign and choose the retention campaign which is the campaign that we have just made and click save rule okay so that is all from me now yeah that's pretty much it that is how you create your landing page and connect it to your um, affiliate product and you can also uh, create and develop an email database of your customers and create email campaigns for the current campaign or the f the future products that you might want to sell to them and this is a very good tool and workflow for an affiliate marketing and i sincerely think that this can really help you in uh, increasing your revenue as an affiliate marketer so that is all from me. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.